Hey there, this is Akshit. I work as a developer relations engineer at Maxim AI. We excel at agent simulation, evaluation, and observability. In this video, we are going to work with open source Notion MCP server so that you can ask your MCP host, which is going to be Cloud Desktop, to create a HR handbook for your company directly on Notion. So if I just give it a system prompt that, hey, you have 10 years of experience in framing HR policies. Whenever you get the context about the company, you frame Notion pages. So let's give it a shot. Let's uh, write the system prompt and provide the context about the company. I have said, hey, you have 10 years of experience in framing HR policies for IT companies. And here is a context. Here's the information about my company. Create an HR handbook on Notion directly, not in this cloud uh, window, right? So it is going to it is going to find out all the tools that are available to it. And it's going to ask me the permission. I'll allow it. And as soon as it finds that, hey, there is a Notion tool available, it is going to create pages on Notion directly. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so as you can see, first of all, I am on the model context protocol documentation and you are seeing the general architecture. So let's go uh, as per this architecture itself. Uh, and we have already covered the theoretical part of this in the previous video. So in this video, we'll be keep it more practical. So first of all, we need a host, right? We need an MCP uh, client contained in a host. And for that, we are going to use Cloud Desktop. And as you can see, I already have the Cloud Desktop running. In this, we need to work with the configuration files so that it can access the tools via the MCP servers. So getting back to the diagram, you have MCP server over here. So you have two ways. Either you can create your own custom MCP server or you can use the open source MCP servers that the community has built and they have open sourced the GitHub repositories. So we are going to clone the repository for Notion MCP server because you already know that we are going to uh, use Claw desktop and via the MCP, the Notion pages should be created and content should be put in those pages. So the community which is working around MCP, they have already open sourced some of the MCP servers, especially the common third party services like Notion, GitHub, Slack, AWS, browser base and many more third party services. For that, you can check out this repository by model context protocol servers is a repository name. And if you see over here, there are a lot of commonly required uh, third party services like Google Drive, Google Maps, Memory, Postgres, Puppeteer, Slack, GitHub. And if you search for Notion, that is also over here, right? So for Notion, there are two MCP server uh, that are provided. So we are going to choose the first one uh, and we are going to pull it and we are going to work with it on our local. Then we have the sources. It can be a local data source, remote data source, or it can be a remote service. In our case, we're going to work with a remote service, which is the Notion API service. But the good part is we don't have to worry about the core implementation of the logic of making the calls, getting the data, updating the data, deleting the data, because that is already coded in the MCP server. So if I take you to the repository back, and if you go inside this Notion MCP server, get inside this Notion folder, and inside the source, uh, over here, you can see the index.ts file and over here, you can see the complete logic, the interfaces, types, the API contract, tool calls, functions, requests, responses, everything is maintained over here. So if you are interested, you can read it. But in the upcoming videos, we are also going to build our own custom MCP servers. Great. Now, because the architecture is clear and we know what is the flow, uh, we can start uh, working with the MCP server, setting up the MCP server and making a connection between the host and the server. So as we are provided with two Notion uh, MCP server, so let's work with this V3 because I found that it has more functionalities. So all you have to do is, uh, similarly inside the source also you are going to find the code so you can explore it on your own. Uh, but let's try to follow this readme and the process is going to be same for setting up any kind of MCP server, right? So first of all, we need to clone it. So let's just copy it and let me open my uh, terminal. As you can see, I'm inside documents and MCP servers cloned. And over here, I'm going to clone the repository. So I'm going to paste it. And now I'm inside that uh, folder. So if I say what is inside this uh, folder, you can see we have uh, get dot git file, then source, and inside it, you will find index.ts, right? Uh, so what I will, I'm going to do is, uh, so basically now we have the Notion server. Getting back to the documentation, we need to install, uh, like we need to do in npm install, so let's do that. So all the packages are installed. Next, what we need to do is we need to get the Notion API key. So for that, you need to get to your Notion. So I'm on my Notion and I created this page. Uh, I'm going to tell you the purpose of this page very soon. But what you need to do is go to the settings, connections, develop or manage integrations. Over here, click on new integration. 
uh, let's give it a name let's call it mcp integration uh, test right associated workspace i'm going to choose my personal workspace this will be internal and if you want you can put a logo also so let's save it configure integration settings this is our api key okay so let's show and make sure that you create your own api key and i'm going to delete it so this is not going to work if you're using the same one so as per the documentation we need to export this api key so let's do that export notion api key is equal to paste that and hit enter so our api key is set next what we need to do is we need to uh, say npm run build so that we build the server great our server is now built now if you go inside this server you have this uh, src folder and then uh, the build of this complete code is inside this build folder so if i take you to the build and if we say what is inside it you will see we have index.js the path of this index.js file is going to be important because now we need to give this path to our configuration file in cloud desktop so now let's get to the cloud desktop and click on uh, cloud settings uh, developer edit config and you can see this file so open this file in your favorite id i'm going to use cursor so this is the file right and over here we need to write a piece of code and that piece of code is given in the documentation over here so just copy it and paste it over here now inside this you need to give the absolute path of your index.js file so I'll get back to my terminal and I'll open this folder in, in an IDE again and I'll right click copy path and I'll close it and I'm going to go to the uh, Claude uh, configuration file and I'm going to paste that path over here. Great. So this is set and you need to paste your Notion API key again. So let's copy the Notion API key from here. And now we are all set. So you can close this file after saving it. You can close this and we need to run a uh, cloud desktop again. So let's just quit it settings developer and you can see notion is over here. So whichever uh, MCP servers you are going to configure in your cloud desktop configuration file, they will be visible over here. Great. So this is set. Now I can say file new conversation. As soon as you do that, you're going to see this tool button and this will not be there before. Right. So if you click on it, you can see all the tools that are uh, written in the MCP server of Notion. They are imported and uh, whenever they will be required, you need to give them the access and it is going to automatically use them. So you are not going to worry about the core implementation of these tools if you are using an open source MCP server. For sure, if you are building your own custom MCP server, you have to write the functions of all of these tools. Now, one more thing, uh, get back to your Notion and close it and just create a page so basically what i'm going to do in this video is uh let's assume i'm an hr of a company and i have to create a proper uh, hr policy document for this techies company techies is the name of a company and i have to prepare a complete hr policy document but i don't want to do it i want ai to do it for me so that at least i get a draft and because my company uses notion as the workspace i want my ai to write it in the notion and i want to use cloud so I'm going to use Cloud Desktop. It is going to communicate to the Notion MCP server. Notion MCP server has all the necessary tool calls to communicate with this Notion. And it is going to write everything, the final draft of the policy document over here in this page, right? But for that, you need to first of all, uh, make a connection with your integration in Notion. So on this page, you see this menu, search for connection settings, connections, right? Click over it and search for your integration that you created. I created MCP integration test. So click on it and add it to your page. So confirm. Now I'll keep Notion and Cloud side by side so that we can see what our AI is creating. Uh, sorry, not this page. I'm going to close this and I'm going to merge it with the conversation. Right? Great. So I can now see side by side what it is going to create. Now I need to write a system uh, prompt or basically the prompt uh, which is going to trigger this tool calls. Right? So for that, uh, because I'm going to frame the uh, HR policies of this company, I need to give it some context, which is going to contain some HR policies or the policies of the company, right? So for that, I've already kept them uh, ready uh, in the notes. So let me open those. So yeah, so th this information, this context actually contains the uh, termination or resignation or uh, notice period, training and development, sick leave, PTO, uh, and all of those, remote uh, policy and everything. So let's just copy this 
and i'm going to write a very proper uh, system prompt right so this is the uh, main prompt i have written you have 10 years of experience in framing hr policies document for it companies on getting the context about the company you create descriptive notion pages for hr policies the policy should not sound repetitive you give examples to explain the policy and you can write down uh, any necessary guardrails or uh, some key points that you want the ai to keep in mind while framing this document right and now i'm going to give the context about the company context of the company and let's just paste that uh, context uh, now it is going to frame the notion pages so let's see let's hit enter so as you can see as soon as i hit enter it is asking me to make the necessary uh, tool call right and i want to allow it for this chart so i'll help you create comprehensive notion page for techies hr policies i'll use a notion api to create structured engaging document it was actually able to make a connection with our notion and it found the pages and now it is framing the document and as soon as its document is ready it will start pushing it to the notion let's see how it works so it is keeping the title as techies hr policy handbook uh, and now it is framing the complete uh, document sounds interesting let's see and you can see i apologize for the error it seems the content is too long and i'll break it down into multiple pages which will actually be really good because it will actually look like a book so it has created first page techies hr philosophy and diversity second page is over here techies flexible work and benefits so as you can see i am not doing anything uh, cloud is connected to the notion via mcp and it is able to create a complete hr handbook for the company and i have just provided the context about my company and it is just framing the handbook on its own and the and the good part is the content is not just a, sing, a single piece of you know uh, text it is actually creating pages on its own and this was so simple using mcp i mean i just used the open source mcp server and i was able to pull it off in like 10 minutes so i think it has completed the work now let's see uh, the pages if they are descriptive or not one thing is it is actually repeating the titles so it created the page i think i mean you can add it in the prompt that do not repeat the titles uh, for the page and then this will not be created right so our people philosophy at techies we believe that our greatest asset is our people yeah good that is good uh, blind recruitment process to minimize unconscious bias that is good example scenario you can see examples are also over here gender representation eth ethnic diversity neurodiversity inclusion that is good so let's see the second page techies policy evolution and continuous improvement continuous uh, policy evolution that is great i mean this is actually great then support ours knowledge base and resources this is good so i think this was really good uh, i mean like it was a quick 10 minutes tutorial of how to get access to a open source mcp server uh, configure it with your mcp host and quickly get your task done in the future videos we will be showing you how to create custom mcp servers uh, but till then if you want to give it a shot i'll give you a suggestion of a project that you can build create a agent that can pull information about a product from amazon or from any marketplace and it curates all the uh, reviews around it and then it writes a blog on that product right so that you can actually start your own affiliate business affiliate uh, blogging website where you give the product name and it collects the information around it writes a proper blog and gives the necessary links so that people can buy it this can be a good one a uh, good side project if you want you can give it a shot i hope you enjoyed this video where we actually saw how you can work with open source mcp servers to get started with maxim check out the link in the description till the next video all the best for your ai journey